father is the devil. To wash the sins out of your house. Fred, <laughs> I call him Fraudulent Freddy, the sinister minister. Well, I can tell you that Mr. Phelps has done a lot of harm to a lot of people. I have absolutely no respect for Mr. Phelps or his memory as a lawyer. This modern militant homosexual movement, what it needs more than anything else is to understand at least what those of us who read the Bible are saying. He was the most unethical. It is not a civil right to us. Brutally abusive. It is not a matter of an innocent alternate lifestyle to us. Individual I have ever known to hold a license to practice law. It is a monstrous sin against God Almighty. I'm glad he's gone. My dad, Fred Phelps, was the founder of Westboro Baptist Church. I spent 25 years of my life there and then um, I left. He was actually the voice for God, right? Everybody had to do what he said, okay. And, and another thing about my dad is that he had a very bad temper and he would, he would be violent. You know, you never know what was gonna set him off. I knew Fred for many years. In fact, uh, because of my involvement representing gay, lesbian, and transgender folks, it was not unusual for him and his gang of abusers to parade themselves in front of my office with their ugly signs. It's not enough pain in this new nation. This is what I battled here for years. Open letter to Ellen DeGeneres and Star Trek's George Takei Zulu. Dear friends, now that California has kicked up a foul same-sex marriage stink, so ranked that it's attracting maggots from all over the world, you two are cater wailing like a tree full of holler monkeys about getting married to your own filthy partners in shame. There you are. That is but one example of the hate that the world has endured from Mr. Phelps' mind and that of his supporters. And I wanted to save these eight years of records so that down the road, no one could say it didn't happen. I was also the lawyer that uh, represented a group in Topeka that attempted to pass ordinances to gain equality for gay and lesbian people. Unlike Mr. Phelps, I have seen hatred, bigotry in our community. Our city hurts. We know where theocracy leads. We know where that train ends up, and it ends up in violence against those that are not within the tent, because God ultimately tells those within the tent that those outside are less valuable. And the moment we diminish the value of any human being, it's a lot easier to abuse them. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind, it is abomination. The thing is 18.22. There's nothing good about this. There's nothing reasonable about this. It came from a sick mind. That violence that you read in the signs that you feel from those people who are spitting at you with their words, uh, that came from a, a violent uh, man. And, and this Bible has violence in it that gave this man power. I was scared shitless. But 
what I thought was is that what kind of a fucking God is this? When I first left, I didn't want to even think about it. I knew that I couldn't stay because it would be too painful, but I was afraid that that was the only thing that I learned. That's the only thing I knew about and that I was bound for hell. There, there's something I need to tell you. I did not like your father. I did not like your father at all. I believed that your father was very mean-spirited. I believe that your father was abusive. I believe that your father was a hurtful man. And I believed that your father was unethical. And I often wonder what motivated him because living with all of that anger, that had to be hard for him. Yes, he was always on either attacking outwardly on one of the kids, on my mom, on opposing counsel, on the press, on the system. I felt like there was no hope. I felt like we were trapped and especially how women are treated and he treated my mom that you know, I'd rather die sometimes than be in this space, you know, with this kind of a God. I felt helpless. I was involved in many, many battles with your father. And I would hope that if your father was here today, that he would recognize the immense value that you represent. Because you are a very good woman and you've overcome amazing obstacles and I am honored that you came by my office. Um, you've given me great joy today. So thank you, thank you. And I hope, I hope someday your siblings will come to you that the family can have a barbecue learn together. From, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Invite me, I'll bring the beer. <laughs>